Welcome back, Dreamzy here. On today's video, we are going to be checking out a box of old gold lights. Now, I'd like to start by saying I in no way encourage smoking. Smoking is well known to cause all sorts of cancer and diseases. Now, I'd like to recite a Robert Frost poem entitled, Nothing Gold Can Stay. Nature's first green is gold, her heart is hue to hold. Her early leaves a flower, but only so an hour. Then leaves subside to leaf, so Eden sank to grief. So dawn goes down today, nothing gold can stay. Beautiful poem. I'd like to take another moment to say thank you to everyone who sits here and slowly watches me kill myself. This weekend we surpassed 100 subscribers to the Dreams and Smokes channel, so thank you very much. I appreciate it, all the comments, likes and subs, it really matters and I just never would have anticipated such a uh, tremendous response to the channel. It's a real passion. I. I love old cigarettes, I love rolling cigarettes, I mean it's, uh, it is a real passion, and I, it's, uh, thank you. Alright, so we'll probably go ahead, we'll pan down, we'll check out this package, I believe it to be between 1965 and 1975, and I'll go into more details as to why I believe that. Alright. <clears throat> forgot to mention I hope you're doing well now I wasn't really going to post a video but I felt like doing it with the heck Oop, little camera adjustment there sorry about that alright the old gold brand introduced in 1926 by Lorillard Tobacco Company North Carolina now, you wouldn't have been able to turn on a TV back in the day, 1950s, out here in that familiar jingle, seeing a pack of cigarettes with legs tap dancing across the screen. <laughs> what a sight to see. They were known for the catchphrase back in the day, uh, not a cough in a car load. And those were back in the days of tuberculosis, so that was a heck of a catchphrase, if you ask me. Good selling point. <laughs> All right, now to get back on bases here, I get my 1965 date based on the wording of the Surgeon General warning. Now the Surgeon General warning itself was introduced in 1965. And you can see it's extremely vague. It'll say, the Surgeon General has determined that cigarette smoking is dangerous. That's like saying, you know, you go outside and it's raining, you're likely to get wet. Extremely vague. Now you look at a more common pack of cigarettes here from 1990, like the Dakotas, they're a little bit more blunt and descriptive. They'll tell you smoking causes lung cancer, heart disease, emphysema, and may complicate pregnancies. Much more descriptive, it'll tell you the truth. Now back in 65, they knew the dangers of cigarettes. They knew much more than that, but they didn't disclose it. So that tells me this pack is 1965 at least. Now another thing when looking at the package, you can tell it's missing something. I'll give you a second to look over and see that it's, it's missing a barcode. There's no barcode on this package. Now barcodes became more common practice in 1974, they started popping up. But around 1975, just about every common product had a barcode. So that gives me the 1965 to 1975 time range. Now, if I'm incorrect with that, you can go ahead and correct me, but that's what I'm gonna shoot for. I may be wrong, I'm, like I said, I'm no expert on the subject, but it seems about right. But you can see it's lowered tar and nicotine, old gold lights, Dangerous to your health, of course. I always try to stress that. There is no safe cigarette. You've seen those premieres. They were supposed to be safer, but 
just made my kitchen smell like I crap my pants. It's not good. <laughs> Got the Lorillard Greensboro, North Carolina. All right. Now, if you excuse me, I'm going to reach down here and grab my short cock cutting board here. And I'll show you. It's not necessarily the size that matters. It's what you do with it because we're quickly approaching the dissection portion. And we're going to see if these old, old golds kept their luster and see if they held up over the years. Look at that lovely gold reflecting off the light. Very alluring. Take the cellophane wrap off. A little bit of tobacco got knocked loose over the years. Many, many years. So I'll call them old, old golds. <laughs> we'll see if the gold stayed or not. Get a bit of a sniff quick, see how they're doing. Oh, that very familiar intoxicating smell. Very raisin, aged tobacco. Oh, it's gonna be an excellent smoke, I can already tell it. Reach in here. Never tell you how much I hate, I hate soft packs, I really do. <laughs> There we go. All right, pull this out carefully. Well, first casualty. There we go. Very careful, very careful. I hate when that happens. All right, old golds. Very careful. Lay that on my short cock cutting board. I'll put this right up here. Go ahead, try to fish that out for me, my lovely assistant. We're gonna analyze this. We're gonna test it for crispiness. No crispiness at all. I think this is perfectly preserved. Looks like there's very small writing there. I'm not too sure what it is. All right, my assistant pulled out the rest of it there. It's a shame. The filter's in terrific condition. Absolutely not going to cut this one open. That's going to be the smoking. Put that off to the side. Going to test this one out since it's already been compromised. Carefully cut it open. You see size does not always matter. stated this is possibly from 1965 to 1975. I hate to have such a wide range in the years, but the best I can do, and I hope I'm accurate with that. I said if you're more educated in the field than I am, please go ahead and correct me. Seems like your regular filters, nothing crazy going on there. I want to try to get a close-up and smell the tobacco in the palm of my hand here. It's a lovely, lovely aged tobacco. You can't beat that. Just amazes me how something you open from so long ago, and it's it's just it's holding a piece of history in the palm of your hand. All right, here's a closer look. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> Old gold. I can't really make that out too well. All right, I'm gonna fire the camera up and light this cigarette up here. <coughs> oh, hi YouTube. My non-zesty drink, I'm just having a nice black coffee. Oh, very good. All righty, I had a subscriber ask me to use a Zippo, so I finally picked up some fuel. That is fantastic. I think this definitely kept this luster, and I think some things can stay golden. 
lovely golden raisin accents. It's fantastic. Mm. I don't think there's going to be any coughs in this car load today, let me just tell you that. Mm. Mm. Damn. Yeah, that's good. That's damn good. <laughs> well, there's a slight cough, but I'm not feeling too well lately, you know. I don't think it has anything to do with the cigarettes that's just going around. You know how it is. Ah, I hope you liked me reciting Robert Frost's poem. It's a good one. Hmm. Damn, yeah, that ain't bad. Yep, I do love the old style text on the filter itself. It, uh, the gold ring, it's just very elegant smoke, very high quality. Now I was amazed with my research. They do still make the old gold cigarette to this day. Actually in 2015, uh, our, our good friends RJR bought uh, the company out, Lorillard, Lor they bought them out, and you can still buy the old gold cigarette today. The unfiltered variant, it was last available, I believe, circa 2010, so you cannot buy unfiltered anymore. But I'm sure a few people have cartons stashed away somewhere, you know. Old Dreams, he has some. Well, I got some filtered ones from 1965 to 75, possibly. <laughs> and they're pretty damn good. Mm. Mm. It's not bad. Definitely in flavor country, I'll tell you that. Absolutely no crispiness, no staleness, little cellophane wrap, little foil lining. Gonna put these in my little food saver vacuum packing system and I ever feel like lighting up an old, old gold. I know they kept their luster. They're still golden to this day. And they're gonna keep that way for hopefully another 70 years. <laughs> All right, don't know what's gonna be coming up next. I've been thinking about doing another rolling video. I got one box so far. I'm hoping another unboxing video, hopefully Saturday. I have two more boxes coming, so that'll be three in total. I'm expecting maybe 35 to 50 packs of cigarettes, so it's gonna be a big one. So I'm very excited, I hope you're excited. It should be a lot of fun. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for the subs. I hope you enjoy the videos. I enjoy making them as always. And I hope you have a wonderful day. Dreamsy out. <laughs>